That's a Curtis SOC-3 biplane scout assigned to the U.S. Navy cruiser USS Tuscaloosa CA-37. This great color film was shot while Tuscaloosa was part of the flotilla that included the aircraft carrier USS Ranger CV-4, supplying aircraft for operations in North Africa in 1943. Scenes of the Ranger show the deck loaded with desert camouflaged Army Air Force's P-40s that flew to shore. USS Ranger, launched in 1933, was America's first purpose-built aircraft carrier, not from a converted hull of a different ship. Ranger used six smokestacks, three on each side of the aft portion of the hull. The stacks could be folded down during flight operations. The Curtis SOC-3 Seagull Scout Observation Aircraft was an interesting amalgamation of old-school biplane design tenets with some modern aerodynamics including metal leading edge slats on the upper wing. In older black and white scenes later in this video, that strong metal upper wing leading edge is put to good use as sailors use long forked poles to push the SOC to avoid having it strike the ship during hoisting aboard. These Navy stock black and white pre-war views of a Curtis SOC landing and being hoisted aboard ship give a clue to how that operation was accomplished. The Curtis SOC-3 relied on a 550 horsepower Pratt & Whitney R1340 radial engine to give the aircraft a top speed of 161 miles an hour, a service ceiling just over 16,000 feet and a range of 859 miles allowed the Seagull to scout for its hosting cruiser or battleship. Early SOCs began delivery to the Navy in 1935. Curtis Seagulls remained in service throughout World War II, with some serving the post-war Navy. I'm Fred Johnson for the Air Rail Images Channel. Thanks for watching. When you give our videos a thumbs up, you help their path in the YouTube algorithm. We appreciate it.